YouTube, what is up guys? So I know a lot of you may have gyms closing or you might be quarantined in your own home. And a lot of you just want to find a way to get a workout. So today, I'm going to do a little at-home workout for you. We're going to do legs today and throughout the week I'll be making more videos so you can do, we'll do all different body groups, we'll do cardio, all that good stuff. So today we are going to do a leg day. We are going to do four workouts. Now, I'm going to do this video, I'm going to demonstrate each set one time through, so a total of 10 minutes. And if you you feel like you're fine, you're, you're somebody you work out regularly, you should do three sets of this. So it'll take you a total of a half hour, but you can always build up if you're a new person. Now, if you're new to my channel, when I'm not making YouTube videos, I actually work as a personal trainer and a mixed martial arts coach at MMA Underground in Crystal Lake, Illinois. Um, so I thought, you know, why not put my skills to use here on YouTube with you? You're going to need some type of timer. You can either just use a regular clock or you could download a round timer that you can on any phone. You just go into the app store, type in round timer. Even on my computer right here, I just downloaded a free one. There's tons of free ones. You want to do two minute rounds, 30 second breaks. Okay. And here's how we're going to do this. So we're just going to get to it. You don't need anything except a timer. And this is all going to be body weight stuff. So we're going to do leg day and uh, let's get with our first workout. So I'm going to start my timer here. Okay. So in three, two, one, we are going to start off. We are going to go one regular squat, one narrow with our feet close together. One regular, one narrow with our feet close together. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Okay. Just your body weight. Nice and easy. And I want you guys to do this all at your own pace. One regular, one narrow. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna do 30 seconds, just regular body weight squats. Make sure to try to keep your, um, your knees, not, try not to make them go too far past your toes. Try to keep your back straight, all that good stuff. And once again, we are going at our own pace. So don't count, just concentrate on your breathing. Good form, keep going. Eight more seconds. Two, one, now we're gonna do 30 seconds with our feet close together, just narrow squats. Yeah, and any old round timer will work. Even just your regular analog clock will be fine. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Now last three seconds, we're gonna do it all together again. So regular squat, narrow squat. Regular squat, narrow squat. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, first workout done. We got a 30 second break. So now I'll just explain what we're gonna do in the next workout. So the next workout, you're gonna have your elbows high, regular squat form with your legs about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, come up, then I want you to bring your one knee up and bring your upper body to that knee. So don't bring your knee to your elbow, bring your elbow to your knee to engage your lats a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one. Squat, bring your leg up, twist your upper body to it. Don't rush this one, you wanna do it in separate motions. Do your squat, then lift your leg and turn. And in those breaks, it's a good time. You need to get water, whatever. Three, two, one. Okay, we do the other side, same thing. Bring your leg up, twist. Leg up, twist. Ten more seconds. We'll switch sides again. Eight 
And other side. Squat. Bring your leg up. Opposite elbow. And you don't have to have both your hands up. You could have just, you could have your hands, like pretend like you're holding a kettlebell in a rack position. You could have it like that too, if you prefer to have it like that. That's fine. And this is also something, if it's a little too easy, at, you could, and you have weights at home, you could hold a kettlebell or hold the dumbbell in your hand while you do this. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go back to the other side. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, 30 second break again. Okay, next one, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go squat, then we are gonna twist and lunge one side. We are gonna squat, twist and lunge your other side. We're gonna do that first 30 seconds, okay? And then I'll explain the rest as we go. So. 10 more seconds on a break, good time. You need some water, grab some water, breathe deep. Stretch out a little if you need to. Get the blood pumping. Okay, so we're gonna squat, twist and lunge to one side. We are gonna squat, twist and lunge to your other side. Hopefully you guys can see me. It's kind of hard with just one camera here to get a good angle where you can see everything. So I just went with the straight on view. 10 more seconds of this. Two, one, okay, now we are just gonna lunge one side. So go into one stance and just knee down and knee up. You wanna stop right before your knee touches the ground. You don't wanna let it touch the ground, you're right before. Good posture, you can have your hands at your hips. You can have them straight out, you're really, whatever is better. I prefer them like this because I did, I used to fight, so I'm just used to having my hands up. Five more seconds, so we're gonna just switch legs. Three, two, one. Okay, same thing now, just the other leg. We're gonna do this 30 more seconds, so we're gonna put it all together again, like we did the first 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Okay, now we'll put it all together again. We're gonna squat, twist and lunge to one side. We're gonna squat, or we're gonna squat, <laughs> twist and lunge to your other side. Normally, I just coach for the most part. It's been a while since I really did a home workout like this, so kind of fun. Also, you let me know in the comments what you want to see next. You want to see ab videos, you want to see cardio, chest, back. Really, you can do anything at home, and you don't really need any more than just your body weight, usually. Okay, 30 second break, and then our last one we're gonna do is we are just gonna wall sit. So now's your time. Get some water, shake it off. I'm gonna actually bring you guys a little closer for the wall sit. And I recommend doing three sets. It'll take a total half hour. Through this video, I'm gonna demonstrate the first 10 minutes, but just start, start a, rewind the video at the minute, or now that you know the workouts, you can really just keep the timer going. You don't have to work along with me, but you always can if you want to. So just go into a wall sit, and nothing really to it. Here, let me, I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer so we can be friends. Okay, just like you're in an imaginary chair too. You wanna stay about 90 degrees. Back straight. Here's where you just want to relax. Breathe in, breathe deep. This one, when you get to this one, this one will help you like kind of catch your breath from the other ones. The other ones have a little more cardio in them than this one. This one's really just more getting a lot of blood in your quads. We're 30 seconds in, 35 seconds in, and we're just doing this the whole time. And once again, if you are new to working out, just do these all one through like we are in the video, but you know, try to shoot to be able to do three sets of everything. A total of 12 rounds, take a total of a half hour.
Okay, we are halfway done. We got one more minute. My feet keep sliding though, because uh, just where uh, the type of floor I have. <laughs> so you might want to put a mat down if your feet slide, if you have a hardwood floor like I do. But if you get your posture right, it's not too bad. Try to also, uh, a lot of times when I get tired, I'll put my hands on my knees like this. Try to avoid that. Try to keep your hands just neutral, not, not supporting you. Your legs doing all the work. We're almost done. We got 30 seconds left, guys. Twenty-five seconds. All right, catch your breath, breathe deep, especially if you're gonna restart this and do more sets. You wanna catch your breath for the next ones. Sorry about my dog wanted to join the video here. Hey, you still say hi to everybody, Ali? No. All right, he's being a little camera shy now. Five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, so catch your breath. And then here is where you just want to start over. So you're just gonna, if you're using a round timer like this, it'll just keep going. Then start back at regular squats to narrow squats. Then do your squat and twist, the squat with the lunges, finish with your wall set. Um, you could do one time through at 10 minutes if you're new. You could do two sets uh, if you're intermediate. And then if you're in pretty decent shape or you're just, you know, you really like working out, try to do three. Four sets can be a little excessive. Just do three um, and just do really good form and try your good ass. So start all over, back at your squats narrow, squats regular. Um, yeah, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you liked the video and let me know what other workouts you want to see in the comments and peace out.